Number 10. Gator Danger A man in Jamaica had to spend a night inside of a refrigerator. It was one of the worst nights of his life. He was wounded and terrified after he became the victim of a vicious reptile attack. He was a professional electrician named Nigel Gale. At 48 years old, he decided to hit the beach after work to wind down. This was in the town of Poor Man's Corner, and it proved to be a monumental mistake. The name of the town alone already sounds bad. The second he entered the water, a crocodile came out of nowhere and chomped down on Nigel's leg. He screamed for help, but there was nobody to save him. Poor Nigel had to defend himself from the hungry lizard, fighting the reptile off and by some miracle getting himself free. But he was in such rough shape as he limped away from the crocodile that he knew he wouldn't get far. So, seeing an old and abandoned refrigerator on the beach, Nigel quickly used his belt as a makeshift tourniquet to stop the bleeding, climbed into the refrigerator, and he spent the entire night in there hiding from the crocodile. The worst part of this whole thing is that the crocodile knew he was hiding in the refrigerator. As Nigel cowered inside the small metal box all night, the crocodile continued to approach and sniff at him. He had to make loud noises to keep it from opening the fridge with its nose. Then, after 12 hours, people finally showed up at the beach and rescued him. Nigel had to get his leg amputated at the hospital, but at least he wasn't completely consumed by the hungry animal. Number 9. Yellowstone National Park When you think about places to go swimming, Yellowstone Park probably isn't high up on the list. And rightly so, because swimming at Yellowstone Park can be deadly. Just ask the poor guy who was literally dissolved after falling into a boiling pool of acid. His name was Colin Scott, and he kind of died on purpose. He tried to go for a relaxing soak in one of the thermal pools at Yellowstone Park. This is entirely illegal, and for good reason. The victim's sister even recorded the incident on her mobile phone, with the two laughing it up, thinking it was all fun and games. Well, the fun and games ended when Colin Scott literally dissolved like in an episode of Breaking Bad. He didn't jump into the pool all at once. Instead, Colin dipped his toes into the extremely hot acid, and before he realized just how hot it was, he slipped and his whole body fell in. Of course, this isn't actually a pool of acid, it's simply a geothermal feature filled with water that has an extremely high acidity content. The acidity content is so high that by the time the rescue workers arrived to try and scoop out Colin's remains, he had already dissolved into a puddle of goo. Number 8. River Pirates Pirates don't just exist in Disney movies. A California couple named Adam and Emily Harto, along with their two young daughters ages 3 and 7, bumped into a few pirates while boating in the Amazon River. As it turns out, the Amazon River is not the best place to go swimming, never mind sailing. The pirates boarded their vessel uninvited and forced them to drive to the nearby river city of Porto dos Dias. According to the local police, the family was then held hostage, they were stripped of all their belongings, and the pirates hightailed it out of there. But when the authorities arrived, the family was nowhere to be found. Some time between being robbed and their pirates fleeing, the family had managed to escape the boat and run into the jungle. They most likely jumped overboard and ran off for dear life. Luckily, the authorities did eventually find the family hiding in the Amazon jungle. They were in pretty rough shape, covered in insect bites and half-starved, but they were alive. After the family had set off in 2012 to travel to Patagonia in their van from California, they ended up staying in South America. They fell in love with Brazil and embraced jungle life. However, if the family will continue to live in Brazil after being attacked by pirates on the river remains to be seen. Quite likely, they'll pack up and head back home. If that happened to you, would you risk coming back? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 7. Bubbly Creek Bubbly Creek in Chicago is not a place you should swim. In fact, it's not a place you should go anywhere near. The creek was once part of a wetland, but is now the polluted result of the meatpacking business in the Union stockyards. Meatpacking plants have been dumping their putrid waste into the creek for decades. They've literally been filling the creek with blood, chemical waste, and the entrails of dead animals. Ugh. These processing facilities dumped so much animal waste into the creek that it started to bubble because of the decomposition. It became a literally bubbling pool of methane and hydrogen sulfide gas. It got so bad that a sludge rose to the surface that was so thick in some parts that people could walk across it as if strolling across ice. And to make things even more disgusting, entrepreneurs used to go down there at night and cut out blocks of this sludge, rendering it into a type of lard they would sell to customers. Luckily, it's 2021 and there are now programs in effect to clean the creek. Conservation people are working hard to reduce the stench of death still wafting out of the water and to bring some semblance of nature back into the picture. But it's still one of the worst waterways in the world and not somewhere you should be skinny dipping. Number 6. The Merced River 
The Merced River in California was recently closed to the public because of toxic algae responsible for some tragic deaths. The deaths go back to August, when a couple were found dead with their dog and their one-year-old child. After their bodies were discovered, the Bureau of Land Management shut the river, the nearby campgrounds, and even the recreation area down. The decision was made after testing the water downstream from where the family was found dead and discovering something sinister. The river was undergoing an algae bloom, which is basically what happens when rivers become shallow and warm. Algae is produced, and in this case, it was toxic. The family probably went swimming, thinking it was just an ordinary river, and then unknowingly ingested the toxins. This could have caused respiratory paralysis. It may also have caused neurotoxicity, killing the unfortunate family within just minutes of being exposed. Number 5. The Sitaram River The Sitaram River in Indonesia is considered to be one of the most dangerous places to swim in the world. This is because it's the most polluted river on the planet. For the last five years, the local fishermen haven't even been able to make a living because all the fish are dead. Instead of catching fish, the people here catch glass bottles, dirty old boots, and pieces of trash. Every single day, somewhere around 20,000 tons of waste and 34,000 tons of sewage water from over 2,000 factories are dumped into the river. And this place used to be clean and pristine. Now the fish are gone, the river is so thick with garbage that you could probably walk across its surface, and in most places, you can't even see the water. Plus, there are dead animals floating in it. Yeah, gross. A swim in this river would almost certainly give you some kind of disease. Yet the Sitaram River is a water source for 25 million people who live in the area. The river supplies them with cooking water, electricity, and they use it for agriculture. It's also responsible for filling the largest reservoir in Indonesia. Not only do the local people swim in this river, they drink from it. And in 2013, the Blacksmith Institute did a study that found the levels of lead inside the river are up to a thousand times worse than the U.S. standard for drinking water. It's not only lead either, it's also aluminum, iron, and manganese. The local people are now beginning to show what happens when your main water source is polluted. A scary number of people are beginning to come down with skin diseases like scabies and infections. They also have respiratory distress from inhaling the nearby smoke from the factories, and all their crops are suffering because they basically get watered with sewage. Number 4. Shark Attack If you've ever thought about swimming at Gray Whale Cove State Beach in California, you may want to reconsider. A man from California named Nemanja Spasojevic was looking for crabs when he found a giant great white shark instead. He definitely didn't wake up that morning thinking he would be eaten by a great white shark. Yet, in the middle of his swim, he felt a sudden pain and a slight pressure at his legs. When he looked down, he was staring into the beady black eyes of a great white shark with his leg and its massive jaws. Nemanja got extremely lucky this time. The shark let go all on its own and allowed him to kick away with his one good leg as hard as he could toward the rocky shore. But even though he only got bit once, he was in rough shape. The second he burst out of the water, he began screaming for help. A local man fishing on the shore came to his rescue just in time as Nemanja collapsed. He was losing a phenomenal amount of blood. His wetsuit was literally filled with red blood leaking from the puncture wounds left in his leg from the shark's teeth. Medics quickly showed up on the beach and took Nemanja to the hospital where they fixed him up. And he got to keep his leg, which was lucky because a lot of the time these attacks end in needing a limb amputated. According to NBC News, he now has a slight limp, but other than that is completely fine. He's also quite aware of just how lucky this encounter was, as it could have been significantly worse. Number 3. The Boiling Lake There's a boiling lake on the island of Dominica. It's about 7 miles, 11 kilometers from the capital city of Rousseau. And even though it's a popular tourist destination, it's not somewhere you need to bring a bathing suit. The lake is filled with a cloud of vapor at all times, proof of just how hot the water beneath it is. It's actually the second largest hot lake in the world, around 250 feet, 76 meters across. The only boiling lake larger than this one is called Frying Pan Lake in New Zealand. The water here can be up to almost 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's only at the edges of the lake. In the center, it gets even hotter. The reason the lake is so hot is because the water is resting inside an empty volcano. But there's still molten magma beneath, working kind of like an oven to keep the water above continuously boiled. Obviously, this is a dangerous place to swim, but it's also a dangerous place just to visit. Three hikers along with their Dominican guide perished while hiking around the lake because the magma chamber beneath released a sudden burst of volcanic gases that caused them to asphyxiate. As they choked, they fell over the edge and plummeted to their deaths. Number 2. Crocodile Waters An Australian teenager made an extremely unfortunate decision when he jumped into a river infested with crocodiles and was nearly killed. To make the decision even more ridiculous, 
CBS News reported that the teenager jumped into the river on a dare. He was only 18 years old from the state of Queensland. It was about 2.30 in the morning and the teenager was bragging in the hostel dormitory where he was staying that he could easily swim across the river regardless of the aggressive saltwater crocodiles. Naturally, the others in the hostel dared him to do it, but nobody actually believed he would jump into the water. The whole situation just kind of got out of hand. The group left the hostel, walked down to the river, and within seconds the teen had worked up the courage to do what he said he would. Unfortunately, the crocodiles were waiting. It took him less than a second for a crocodile to bite onto him. Blood gushed forth in the water, the crocodiles were snapping their jaws, and it was lucky that the teenager managed to scramble out of the river before he drowned. He was left embarrassed with serious injuries to one of his arms. But in the end, he did complete the dare and live to tell the tale. But yeah, you probably don't want to swim anywhere near where you know there are crocodiles, even if someone double dog dares you. Number 1. Rwanda's Exploding Lake There's an exploding lake in Rwanda. It's probably the last place on earth you'd want to go for a swim. It's called Lake Kivu, and it's one of only three exploding lakes in the world. It hasn't exploded just yet, but it could go off at any moment. The issue is a massive amount of carbon dioxide and methane underneath the lake. It's so volatile that the combination of gases could cause an explosion at any second, which would result in the immediate suffocation of everyone living within the surrounding areas. But this lake has proved to be an invaluable source of energy for the country of Rwanda. They believe they can use the lake to create massive amounts of electricity to power the entire country. They're currently trying to remove the horrible gases from the lake to make it less dangerous, but because the area is so volcanically active, it could explode without warning at any time. The explosion would be the result of carbon dioxide and methane exploding to release a sudden burst of CO2. And to give you an idea of just how dangerous this can be, a similar lake in the nearby country of Cameroon with the same properties exploded and killed 1,800 people. Lake Kivu in Rwanda is 2,000 times larger. An explosion could result in 2,000 times more casualties. Thanks for watching. What's the craziest swimming spot you've ever been to? Tell us about it in the comments down below and be sure to hit subscribe and come back again for more amazing videos from the channel.